In this video, we'll be going over the ultimate question. Does dropshipping work in 2023 with a low budget? People ask me if it's saturated or if it's even profitable anymore, and if so, how much profit can we reasonably make? I'll be answering all those questions in this short video, but first off, my name's Colin Zcom. I've done over 11 million in sales over the past four years, and my program has generated over 1,300 successful students and 14 seven-figure dropshipping students just last year. But anyways, the foundational information we need to answer these questions is found in facts and statistics. Opinions are subjective, everyone has one, but as we can see here, dropshipping in 2022 hit a market size of $196 billion. By the end of 2023, it's expected to hit $243 billion. And by 2026, it should hit $476 billion, half a trillion. Okay, this is a rapid growing fulfillment method. The annual growth rate is 28% year by year moving forward. So is dropshipping saturated? No. Is the little light up essential oil diffuser you're trying to sell saturated? Yes. Note the difference. Now, the question is why? Why is it growing so rapidly? Because for one, dropshipping can be upwards to 50% more profitable for e-commerce stores. And for two, it allows e-commerce businesses to not deal with the headaches of product fulfillment, shipping, packaging, returns, etc. It's easier and cheaper in every regard for small businesses. Great. Now we've officially busted the stupid myth that dropshipping is either saturated or unprofitable and confirmed the fact that the people who spurred out that garbage are the ones who failed trying to sell saturated, unprofitable products. Imagine this. If I told you starting a restaurant business is saturated because my restaurant failed, wouldn't you connect the dots? Anyways, let's understand how we can start a dropshipping business with a low budget in 2023. And the first concept you need to grasp is that this industry is purely based off of knowledge and time. You cannot buy your way into dropshipping. So luckily for you, everyone has equal opportunity. Most businesses cost tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars to start up. With dropshipping, you're gonna realistically need like 500 bucks saved up in your piggy bank. And most of it is for software. The software is gonna allow us to maximize the potential of our Shopify website, of our marketing tools, of our product research, etc. If you're trying to start with even lower than the base amount, I generally suggest the 500 bucks, you're better off just getting a job, seriously. But anyways, now that we know how much we need to start, you need to understand the best route to go down as a beginner with a low budget because there's strategies you do not want to touch if you don't have money. With the Collins Ecom strategy, it encompasses the entire process going from beginner to advanced as fast as possible. My unique strategy starts you off with foundational understandings and studying required to start. It progresses you through implementation, then launching free marketing tactics and eventually building up to advanced paid advertising methods. You cannot skip steps and jump right into most of the shit people on YouTube tell you to do, okay? So instead of me making a 20 hour video going over every little detail you need to do, I'm gonna take you along the exact journey a customer goes through before purchasing on one of my websites so you can see exactly how the marketing funnel is established. You're going to see the psychological process that occurs and how their subconscious gets persuaded into impulsively purchasing. But before we do that, shoot this video a like and click that subscribe button for more advanced strategies. If you want a 20 hour course with every little detail on this, check out the link in the description. It's 10 bucks. Anyways, let's jump right into it, starting with our most profitable customer, say young female aged 18 to 24. She's scrolling through TikTok. And then all of a sudden, she sees this TikTok post pop up on her feed of a giant snuggle cat pillow. It uses keywords like calms anxiety, relief stress, a new snuggle buddy, keywords along that line. She clicks into the homepage and she's immediately presented with tons of trust building triggers like reviews, testimonials, etc. And then she also sees that the product is unique and that it can't be found anywhere else or how your website is the original brand who curated that product. She then goes to the product page to find the ultimate question she's been wondering this whole time, which is what's the price? Ah, perfect. She sees that the price point is under 50 bucks, something that she can afford without it causing too much spending pain. She then continues to read copyright that entices senses of urgency, like a 40% off sale ending tomorrow or a low stock quantity trigger. And by this point, she's passed the three-step checklist of one, having motivation to purchase, two, the ability to purchase, and three, a trigger to push her over the edge to take action. She then goes through, buys the product, and boom, it's not over. There's an upsell at the thank you page. For only half the price, she can add on a second snuggle buddy if she gets tired of the first one for only like, I don't know, 20 bucks. 
At this point, we've broken the spin barrier and gained her trust, so this upsell comes with ease. She buys it, then gets emails for new snuggle buddies, pillows, or whatever else correlates with the original product she just bought. And after originally thinking the snuggle buddy pillow was only 30 bucks, she's now paid for $4 shipping, $3 in tax, another $20 upsell, $4 for that upsell shipping, $150 in tax again. Her total order value comes out to be $62.50. See how that works? Just 10 minutes ago, she was looking at funny TikTok videos and now she's paid our brand over $62.50. It works like clockwork. And before some of you say something like how this is unethical or whatever else, literally every business does this to maximize sales. Play the game and do it yourself. Congratulations, you're now a successful dropshipper. Time to go buy your first Lamborghini. Anyways, if you want to learn more, check out more videos on my channel for more in-depth strategy guides or check out the link down below to get the entire strategy for only 10 bucks. Full detail, everything covered. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. And if you found this video helpful, shoot me a like and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon.